Praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, welcome to the God Seller 7 Anti Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here today with the prophecy that I actually received yesterday. Um, let's see, yesterday was January 19th, uh, 2023. Now, the prophecy is in my phone. Now, I'm not sure if Brother Dan is going to call because he's still sick. So, let's go into Nahum. Uh, the book of Nahum, chapter 1, I'm going to read 1, 2, 6, maybe 7. The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the Elkoshite. God is jealous, is the Holy Spirit. The Lord revengeth, the Lord revengeth, and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. Woe, I have the Holy Spirit. And he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Okay, you see who this is for, his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebuketh the sea and make it dry. He drieth up all the rivers, uh, Bashan, uh, Languisheth, I'm not familiar with these words, and Carmel, and the flower of Lebanon, languished. The mountains quake at him, the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence, yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by, and the rocks are thrown down by, I don't know why there's, so, oh, by him, I thought it was missing, okay. All right, so pretty much we have an idea again of what the scripture or the prophecy is about. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> the earth is the Lord's. He will cause the earth to tremble and mountains and hills to melt. The sea will boil. I think Brother Dan has that in one of them. Thunder, lightning, and fire accompany him. The dweller, dwellers of earth will tremble at his coming. His wrath is great. He has been mocked and spurned by the wicked. He, his fire is all-consuming. An earthquake so mighty and destructive is coming to your land. Now I have another, that phrase and maybe two more earthquake messages. Men will weep as women search the rubble for their children. The voice of the Lord will break the cedars of Lebanon. His anger is kindled. Who can stand in the presence as the earth melts? Wow, I have the Holy Spirit. Whoa, okay. I had a comment on um, one of the other videos when I said I had the Holy Spirit in my ear, or hair even. Uh, they didn't understand. Now when I get the Holy Spirit, I kind of get a whoosh. And I get the goosebumps or the chills, some people call them God bumps, from head to foot. That's what it feels like. All right, so now we know we're at the end. Uh, this pretty much is it. Um, now, what I was seeing this morning, uh, as I scanned the news headlines, I am seeing that these uh, uh, volcanoes that were gone to sleep uh, are awakening again. I have that in a prophecy, so that's happening right now. Okay, let's look at this again. Now, I heard this over and over, that the earth is the Lord's. He will cause the sea to, and, uh, let me back up, he will, the earth is the Lord's. He will call, cause the earth to tremble and mountains and hills to melt. Imagine that. Okay, now the most concerning uh, 
message in here, or, or a phrase or sentences, an earthquake so mighty and destructive is coming to your land. Now, I did see that there have been some earthquakes over the past, I want to say past maybe uh, 10 days, because they don't really follow that, that closely. But these are the signs. He tells us what's going to happen. He gives us warning. He tells us to prepare. Uh, you need to prepare and have Jesus Christ on the top of your list. You must be born again to enter the kingdom. I mean, this is like so disturbing, all of these headlines I'm reading about all of these young people that are dying. And I'm looking at some of them, I go back, and I want to see if they released the reason why they died. And um, I'm going to say a handful of them. And they were young guys and young men, or I think one was a lady too, died from a heart attack. I mean, really? I mean, these are not normal things that are happening. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. His anger is kindled. Who can stand in his presence as the earth melts? Now, normally I would say um, uh, we are not appointed to wrath. Uh, and um, pray that you are accounted worthy to escape the wrath to come. It is coming. And don't let anybody tell you it's not. And don't let them tell you, oh, you know, everything's going to be okay. If it was all going to be okay, it would be written in this book. So read book of Revelation and you will know what's coming. This is like our little guide here, this Bible. That's why I say on every video that you should buy a Bible, read it front to back, research it, join a Bible study. Um, what else did I see on there? I mean, I, I don't even know what to think here. I mean, uh, Brother Dan and I, I mean, we're getting hammered. No, no, I'm, um, I have severe uh, panic disorder, panic attack disorder. Now, I thought they got the, um, the medication I have to take regulated because I've been good for, I'm going to say, several months. Except this morning. This morning, I woke up with a panic attack. Usually what happens is, and I hate to even say this, the hand that doesn't work starts shaking all over, and I know I'm getting it. I'm just lucky that I was in the middle of the bed, I didn't fall. So now, of course, I'm rebuking the devil off of me, I'm rebuking Satan, sending him back to the pit. Brother Dan, same thing. Brother Dan has a surgery coming up on Tuesday, so keep him in your prayers. He still can't eat, everything is still making him sick. Um, let's see, what else? Okay, the sick, somebody mentioned something about nausea and... and uh, things like that. I don't think he has that as a symptom. I think he has like bloating and gas and all that sort of stuff, like stomach distress. So please keep him in your prayers. Keep me in my, in your prayers too after this morning. Now I'm, I'm going to be walking like, what do they say, like on eggshells? Because I never expected that. Nothing went on yesterday. Sister Amber was here with me all day. We had a lovely day. Nothing went on. There was no uh, stress or anything that would have caused me to, in other words, be panicked. Just the devil, uh, Brother Dan said, trying to stop me from putting up this video. This is how it works every time. If I don't get hammered, he gets hammered. If he doesn't get hammered, I get hammered. I, mean, I could not believe this morning. So at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm laying there, shaking all over, hoping I don't fall off the bed, trying to determine if I should call 911. Now, last time they came here, um, I couldn't really say much about it when I had the panic attack and the fire department came. They kicked my door in. I mean, there were giant holes in my door. So the brand new door, of course, you know, is there now. And the last thing I needed was, again, for them to kick the door in to get me. So let me say a, a prayer before I forget. <clears throat> uh, the prayer of Jabez. Please don't stop praying. The Lord answers your prayers. Keep at it. He'll be tired of hearing from you. And he'll be glad that you are persistent. So keep praying. So let's do prayer of Jabez. I arranged that for me. <clears throat> uh, God the Father in heaven, in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, bless me indeed. Expand my territory. Keep evil and the devil away from me and my family. Let your hand be with me always, and please don't ever let me cause anyone pain or harm. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. 
uh, wanting to welcome all of my new friends and subscribers. I think we got a few hundred new people on there. Um, you might want to uh, check out the um, playlist of my stroke, which is amazing. Uh, because I'm not supposed to be here, according to man. According to doctors and man, I'm not supposed to be here. But our friend, my, I always call my friend upstairs, he had different ideas. I'm still supposed to be on here giving his messages until I said, I can't breathe. My last breath, I will be uh, shouting from the rooftop. So you need a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You must be born again to enter the kingdom. Uh, don't take my word for it. This is why I said read the Bible, know what's going on, and Book of Revelation right now is going to be played out uh, in front of you. It's happening. Now, when I was a little girl, um, I, how can I put this? Um, now, you guys, most of you that are on here, you already know this. Uh, the Lord called me when I was about seven years old. I was just learning how to read, and, and he wanted me to read the book of Revelation. Now, here I am. I had no clue what was going on in there. And he told me that when this book of Revelation uh, is going to be played out, I am going to be seeing it. So I'm, still, I'm here still after the death stroke. So we know things are going to be happening. So if you want to know what's going to be happening, read the book of Revelation. And you might want to also skip over to Daniel. Let's see if there's anything else here. I mean, we need the Lord back in our life. I'm looking at some of these, um, what do you call, headlines, and every one of them, I'm praying, please come back. There's my eagle. Please come back and help the children. The children are being brutalized and murdered. Oh, how beautiful. They're being bu brutalized, murdered, uh, tortured. Please come back and save the children. All right, now, I did have a prayer request out there. I have, was waiting to uh, find out what was going on uh, with my friend Timothy. I didn't hear from him for a while. I was hoping he wasn't sick or something happened. And yay, praise God, he texts me. He is okay. Uh, Patty needs uh, some prayer. Um, let's see, my mom and the nursing home uh, is not knowing who anybody is at this point. Um, let's see, and Brother Dan, like I said, he still can't eat anything, uh, losing weight. Uh, he's been to how many hospitals? He said uh, they're, uh, they have waiting lists at the hospitals to get in. So I think so far he's been to, I'm thinking Massachusetts Hospital, couldn't get in. Um, he's been to, of course, Pennsylvania Hospitals, two of them, I think. Uh, couldn't get in, where else was he? Uh, Massachusetts, uh, New Jersey. Uh, there, I think there was a waiting list in New Jersey to get in the hospital. Um, and in Maine. Please pray for him. We need to get him better and get his weight back on. So I teased him about the time I used to, every Sunday after dinner, um, I used to practice making um, goodies, uh, cakes and pies and cupcakes and stuff. So the one night, I, this is before we carried uh, waters with us, so I usually would go to sleep early um, and everybody would still be watching TV or whatever after I went to sleep because I got up first. So I was up in bed and I needed a drink of water, and of course I'm not going to drink sink water. So I come down, I open the foyer door, this is so cute, there was Brother Dan laying on the couch, this couch that you see, on his belly he has a chocolate cream pie uh, with whipped cream all over it, doing this. And he's got, it. Um, no he doesn't have a mustache now, but he always had a mustache that went around like that. He's got whipped cream in his mustache, it was so cute. I said, is this what you do when I, I go to sleep early? He goes, well, I can't do it while you're here, I guess not. So anyway, that was kind of the end of me doing the baking because he's putting on weight. Well, I had such a great time doing that lump cookie. So I used to make pies, apple pies, cherry pies, uh, cheesecakes, um, muffin not muffins, cupcakes. What else did I make? Uh, homemade cookies. Uh, like I said, chocolate cream pie. What else? I love doing that. Okay, getting off the track here. So we covered uh, the prayers. Again, please don't stop praying. If something is going on in your life and you're having a trial, just try to get through it. Because God is usually teaching you or preparing you for something else. Something bigger. That's what he did to me. Don't give up on God. He's not going to give up on you. 
stay the course. Stay on the narrow path. If you got friends that are going out drinking or whatever they're doing, I don't know what everybody does nowadays, um, you don't need to be with them. You don't need that. Try to have a holy life like the Lord requests. Um, let's see what else did I want to mention here. Um, YouTube, please, um, what do you call, uh, excuse me, please subscribe and hit the notification buttons. And Facebook, um, please, I'm begging you, please uh, share, like and share the uh, videos. They are not showing them. I mean, we're down, I want to say, I'm going to take a guess. We're down about uh, 40 or 50,000 views so far this month. That is a lot. And then I know there was something going on, uh, not exactly sure, with uh, the traffic something. I don't really follow that. But please like and share uh, the videos. And on Facebook, uh, the same thing. Now I'll put the link up for Facebook so you could go on there and uh, the videos are up there too. And I put uh, missing person people up there usually. All right, you better get going um, before I, don't, I have a problem. Well, you know I'm going to have a problem uploading if I got hammered already at 3 o'clock in the morning with a panic attack. All right. Thanks, God. I made it. All right, we love you guys. Uh, take care. God bless you all. We love you.